Hello, it's Jimmy here at Aurelis. Just looking at a Ford Galaxy here. Yeah, Galaxy. I get always get confused with the Galaxy and S Max. Uh, I think it's a two liter, but yeah, this guy's just come to me for uh, to find out if I can see what's wrong with, it, with the car. Basically, it's covering the road in black smoke, uh, especially when you try and overtake or put your foot down. Uh, he's had it at two garages uh, who said they can't find a problem, and then he's brought it to a third garage who said it needs a new engine. So he just wants a second opinion on that. Okay, inside the vehicle, start it up. Turn around when possible. So it doesn't look like we even have any sort of engine management lights on. Okay, I'm using the Launch Eurotab 3 scan tool and I've just completed a full scan. We've got ABS module in proper shutdown. Don't think that's going to be anything that we're looking at. Anti theft system, driver's door. Nope. So we've got PCM. Turbocharger, boost control, position exceeded and a mass airflow correlation um, so I'm not sure I think we're probably gonna concentrate on this one first correlation probably means that we've got an air leak somewhere listening here from the side of the arch I can hear a sort of a weird noise sort of air um, air noise sort of uh, I don't know how to explain it just pop the bonnet so basically the noise I'm trying to explain is it sounds like when you get um, exhaust gases coming back through the intake you know sort of like a uh, strange noise basically okay so we have the engine here looks like we've got some oil residue here I don't know if that's just been from a spillage while topping up we'll try and get this engine cover off Okay, so looking at that, um, might have a leak. So if I squeeze that, the, the air noise is changing. Right, so surely it can't be that easy, but uh, that's definitely got a leak there. That the, comes from the comes from the intercooler straight to the intake manifold. So it's going to be losing boost pressure from there. Um, when you lose boost pressure, uh, you're going to have an air to fuel mixture uh, that's going to be out. So you're not going to have as, as much air going in to the system as what it thinks is coming in from here. So the fuel injectors are going to be putting too much fuel in um, and then you're not going to get enough air. So that's going to create black, black smoke from the exhaust. So I'm going to open up the air intake pipe here and we're going to try and hook up a smoke leak detector so I might have found where the weird strange intake noise is coming from because the pipe wasn't even attached properly there you can see that that's the way that's sitting okay the customer just said he's recently bought this car and the person he bought it off sold it to him with this problem and they said they've spent hundreds of pounds trying to get to the bottom of it um, but surely I just don't understand why no one's looked at that problem there the heavy breathing sound I'm going to put down to maybe this at the minute so if we seal this up in a minute I'll see if that sound is still there ok I've got the launch smoke detector up I'll just turn it on wait till we can see some smoke coming out so we've got some smoke flowing now and we'll get that connected into the inlet there just connect it through there Okay, now we'll give that a few minutes, see if we can see some smoke. I've got a feeling it's going to come from here, of course. So that was easy. So it looks like we just have a case of some more blind mechanics. Um, that's a very, very big boost leak. Okay, so we're going to cut that off. Now with this intake pipe, I'm just going to give it a very light brush of grease. So when it pushes back on, it's not gonna, it's not gonna squish up like that, like what happened to it last time. See, someone's tried to push this into place, and of course the rubber is too dry, so it's gripping on, and then it's just folding in like that. So you're not getting a seal, you're not getting a seal for the air inlet from the, so the 
the air mass meter is going to be off and then also you're going to have air leak from there which of course is going to cause black smoke okay we've now got that seated correctly I'm just going to tighten it back up and we're going to move on to this one we're going to open this up and see what's going on with the pipe either we've got a crack in the pipe or the seal is broke or the seal has probably not been fitted correctly again hopefully it's the last one because we can uh, if it's something as simple as that we can just get it sitting right like we've done with that one and he won't need any parts okay now I've got the pipe off here if we have a look right here fortunately the pipe is broken big split on it there going all the way around So I'm not sure if we can do sort of a temporary repair on that because we are not going to get that pipe anywhere local. Uh, it's going to be a Ford part and it's going to need to be ordered. So I'm going to use one of these rags from the multi uh, ultra grime wipes. Uh, if you don't use these, I do recommend, recommend them highly. They're very strong, gets the grease off your hands. That's, you don't even need to wash your hands with these, you can just rub them down so basically i'm going to use this rag now to try and clean up this area a little bit and see at least if there's something we can do temporarily to to cure this problem and also confirm that by by fixing this leak if we can temporarily we're going to confirm that the smoke is now gone and it's going to confirm that this is his problem and that's why he's even though it needs fixing it regardless but it's, if we can close this up and he doesn't see any smoke anymore he's going to be very happy well the weather has changed drastically it looked like a summer's day 20 minutes ago let's get these doors closed up oh no full of water okay so this is the only glue I've got left let's try a bit of this epoxy Okay, I've just spread that around the area there. I uh, did make a little bit of a mess of it, but what can you do? Right, now just to hold it from expanding, I've just put some duct tape around it. I know it looks a bit of a bodge, but as long as it holds temporarily. Okay, we're going to connect back up the smoke and let's just get that sealed properly. Just going to now see if we're still getting a leak from there or if it's fixed. Okay, that's been running for a few minutes. We've not got no smoke from this area. Okay, so the glue I put on there is to seal, is to seal the crack. Now the, the tape on its own is not going to do anything to seal, seal it up. It's just, just to hold it from sort of moving or expanding. Okay, we're clearing the fault codes, get rid of those. And now let's just make sure that those fault codes have cleared. Then we're going to take it on a test drive. See if we're still smoking and if the fault codes return. Okay, codes are gone. Okay, now we'll start the engine back up. Okay, so we temporarily had some success there, but I heard a loud pop. I don't know how they couldn't hear that. You can hear the screeching coming from the from the pipe. Yeah, so we can see there where the where it's already popped. It's leaking oil already and it started to flex again so it's gonna need a new pipe that's the, that's the only way that's gonna be sorted out um, but okay so I think that's about finished anyway it was just that's the diagnostic finished we found the problem we just need to get a new pipe and get a fix which is not gonna be today okay so I don't look like I'm gonna be doing the repair today um, and I'm not sure if we're going to be doing the repair at all, but the guys come all the way over from Heathrow just to have it, have the diagnostic um, test done. So that's all finished, and I'll see you on the next video.